Hopefully this stuff doesn't come out the exhaust right oh, here. Oh, no, 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 not this time. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally back on our Honda S2000. And after many failed attempts of trying to get this thing going, I think we found a solution and we bought another S2000. We actually got it delivered a couple days ago. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so we are here waiting on the delivery guy. He should be here with a trailer. and Any second now. Any second. He's at 10.04. It's 10.03. Let's see what kind of S2K he's got for I us. I know, right? He said that there was a bunch of stuff piled on top of it because in the pictures, there was parts all around the car, so he don't even know if we can get in there, but we got the truck here to put everything back here, so as soon as he pulls up, we're going to check it out. Hopefully, we can get it started. Maybe we just drive it down the street. Yeah, or we can push it like we did the cop car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. How are we going to get that thing on? What you see up there, man? Bunch of trash. Bunch of parts in here. We're probably gonna have to drop off into the truck. Yes. Car. So what we're gonna have to do is actually unload these two cars right here, and then we're gonna pretty much roll this sucker off and take her home, really. Yeah. Uh, what do you say about pulling the truck right here so we can just throw everything oh, in the bed? Yeah. Not a bad idea. Go ahead and uh, drive her up here for me. There you go. All right, so we just unloading the Mustang. I think the Toyota's coming off next, but let's see if we can get the sucker started up, man. Yeah, let's do it. We had to get a bunch of trash out here. We got it in the back of the bed there. See if he'll fire up and hit VTEC right on this trailer, huh? Where is this? Oh, there we go. It's a clean engine. We looked on pictures, but I'll, I guess we'll check it out later. I don't know what that is. Got a nice little shifter knob. Have any power at all? Um, no, no power at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, hook up the booster box to it. What about now? Anything? Nothing. All right, hold on. Check the coolant first. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't want to blow a head gasket now, would we? You better check that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yep, we got some juice. You want me to go ahead and fire it up? Yep. Oh, there's a push to start. Totally forgot. Uh, we'll let it charge up a little bit. She fired right up. She's smooth too. Gotta shake it. Gotta do the shake. You know you gotta do the shake and bake. Dang dude, that thing is clean. Super dude. clean. Smooth. No vibration. Dude, that All is All right, let's sick. go ahead and drive this sucker off. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, guys. That was a tough one, but we still got to limp it, dude. Yeah, the wheel is completely broken off. I'm one of the tie rods is actually completely broken off. But... Yeah, but we're over here kicking it, turning it. So... <laughs> Go ahead and park that sucker over here and then we should be good to go. Yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll probably drive it like that. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful with that. This. Should I just hit VTEC right quick? Yeah, just do a donut. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> She spins, man, leave it running. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it running for sure. Let's go ahead and pay this guy and then get on out of here. Dang, son, dude. So we got the guy paid for. It's like 500 bucks from where? From Miami, uh, Miami, Florida. Miami to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yep. 500 bucks. And dude, she purrs, She's still man. Still running right now. No turning though. Don't really want to turn. Yeah, I know. Uh, we had to like break something in the steering wheel just to get it off the trailer. But dude, it's freaking sweet. purring, dude. Everything OEM. That's what we really, what we noticed and why we really bought this thing. Yeah, there's really no, not a lot of oil. There's actually like no oil. There's. I see a little bit, but I don't know if that's from this uh, timing chain that's cap normal, or not, dude. but dude, this thing is smooth, no oil, no leaks or anything, man. So but, yeah, let's go ahead and actually get it home and then we'll see what, what else is up with it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, sketchy. Dang, son, I can't believe we actually got it home like that. The boy's over here playing patty cake with his foot over here My kicking. My foot is sore already, <laughs> man. Dude, but dude, that thing is clean so far. I mean, it's got tons of damage. It is rebuildable though. You yeah, know what I mean? it's not that much damage. Honestly, they were like you can tell they took everything apart to change this quarter panel. They probably indoor. seen some inner skin damage here. Yeah, they got scared damage. of it. We don't get scared of stuff uh -uh. like that. <laughs> dude, it's I love the color of it too. But you know what? Uh, that's basic, dude. Yeah. Kinda. I yeah. like red, but red oh, basic dude, color. Are all the wheels? 
good. Yeah, all the wheels look still good. A little bit of know? scuffage there. These are the original S2000 wheels. Those are probably the best original looking. I th yeah, them probably the best ones that you can get with the S2000 from the dealer. From because, the dealer, dude. Yeah. This thing is clean. Like the engine, you know what I mean. Yeah, Not it's the... super clean, but anyways. That's going to be it for right now. We actually got to take care of some other things, and then we'll be right back on this thing. Let's do it. All right, so it is a couple hours later, but we are back on the S2000. We had to do a little bit of work on our F450, but let's go ahead and not waste any time. Get this puppy on the lift so we can go ahead and drop this engine for the 300th time, something <laughs> like that. We're really good with this now. It'll hey, probably dude. take us. What do you say about it? I'm thinking about under an hour, what Dude, do you I say? Think, uh, that'd be awesome, but I'm thinking right in an hour we can get this sucker out of here and then another hour to take the engine out of the other car. Yeah, we gotta push that sucker back in here, put it on the lift, but we're Dude. gonna have uh, one working motor. And if you're wondering why we chose this S2000 right here, not uh, either fixed our motor or why didn't we find a parts motor, this thing actually went for super cheap. Super cheap, Super dude. cheap for a good deal and it's all stock. It's all original. That's what we we're looking for because usually when a car or S2000 is all original, no. Somebody Really, somebody took care of it yeah, for somebody sure took dude care of it didn't really beat on it too hard because it all oem even the inside of the engine bay yeah no cold air intake that's one thing that no i look exhaust, for no exhaust no nothing dude this thing is freaking mint look at that clean just a little bit of dust you know from and it's sitting. all the way from florida so i mean it's it's pretty dang good for a florida car you know it is I mean? yeah the paint is in good condition as well but yeah loving the red don't know what we're gonna do with our color we're thinking about doing something super crazy with our color on our s2000 so I don't know. We'll see about that. But right now, let's go ahead and actually throw this sucker on the lift. We got to pull out the two Ferraris in there and the Lambo and then start swapping this engine. She runs good, dude. She purrs, man. I think my foot got some workout. Right I think there. the I think the tie rod is broken or something, but luckily we got it in here. Now let's go ahead, lift it up, and start removing this engine. So we got this beast in here on the lift. You see me practice my karate lessons, trying to get this sucker on this uh, lift correctly, but man, we're just admiring how clean this engine bay is. It may be dusty, but other than that, dude, look how everything is original. Dude. Original hood with the VIN number and the front bumper is original with the VIN number. And as you can tell, it's never been painted. This is the first time. That's what I was wondering. I was like, dude, has this thing ever been painted before? Cause it looks original. Look at yeah, this. It's all original. VIN number dude. was not even taped off original yet. Original radiator, everything Ooh. is. Uh, it's good practically dude. original somebody definitely baby this car i don't know uh ain't no young teenager that owned this because i know if i own this i'd put a cold air exhaust all that <laughs> good stuff that's but, true but yeah everything is super oem let's just yeah. say that super oem first time even breaking these bolts from the factory man they've cracked perfectly so i mean right now all we got to do is take the hood off and just start unplugging doing the same process unplug everything drain the coolant and then i think we'll be ready to go up under the car and just drop this engine man
so we finally got the S2K engine pulled out in a record breaking, what do you say, about an hour? Less probably than an, an hour? Probably an hour. Probably, probably an hour. I give dude. it an hour. It was really easy, dude. We knew where dude. everything was, so it was pretty simple. It was just pulling it. That was the, the longest part, but we yeah. managed to do it in all in one piece. Managed not to break anything, so yep. we're that good there. That was the most important thing. We didn't break anything. And this engine and transmission is nice and clean. Everything bone stock. Transmission feels nice and smooth. Also got the stock headers, and we noticed the yeah, to the engine. Oh yeah, this is actually right cracked here. off, so it's pretty crazy. Cracked off, I guess, during the accident or just over a period of time. That explains busted. the kind of uh, the way it was idling. Yeah, it was, it was of, kind of rough. It was actually moving way too much, so I, I knew something was wrong with the engine mount, but I didn't know it was this bad. It's completely off there, like in the air. So, but we are going to be getting rid of these stock headers and putting on them. What do we got? Boys? Yeah, we got them. Uh, we just got some long tube headers. Long on tube there. headers they look really good. So. We're gonna go ahead and they actually look good and they're gonna perform in yeah, video. I think they're in video, or something. yeah, something like that. And it sounds a lot better with those. So, right now, what we're, we're, we're gonna do is actually pull this engine off this uh engine crate right here and put it back in the car, leave the engine on the side, then roll this sucker out of here, then bring in our silver S2000 and do the exact same thing. Alrighty boys, so she is finally all back together. We got the top on a little bit better as well. Yeah, we just snapped that so we don't ruin anything on the yeah. interior because it's actually all still really well uh, held up over the, the time. The top you know, is still the, actually good. Maybe just the rag part of it, it has a, like a couple I mean, little holes no, in it. There is some holes. Yeah, there's a fine little, tiny little hole. Yeah, but we know? found some gold there, Dude, man. Found the gold pile, look at this. All OEM bolts and nuts. I love when shops do that, man. Yeah. They leave everything in here. Everything, all the plastic pieces are in here. I mean, the dash is still good. We got good airbags. You know, we got everything in there. So this could be a fixable car. All right, right it's here, so. very, very easy to fix it, honestly. You know, just needs a quarter panel here. Maybe they kind of, we're afraid of that inner structure, as we mentioned before. Yeah, but which is not to, nothing to worry about. Once you no, get on the frame machine, pull it out, afraid. weld it straight <laughs> in. You know, that's all it needs a door and a dang quarter panel on this thing, but just needs a new motor. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. But let's go ahead and actually roll this sucker out. You might have seen us weld that little tie rod on just yep. so we could turn it better. But I think we're ready to roll it out. Go ahead and try to start it. <laughs> I'll kick start it. Put a kick start on it. Put hey, put some bicycle pedals on it and hey, a chain. You know what we do have we have that um what we got? We got that hemi. We got back a there. hemi back we got there. That hemi back there. Dang, so. dude. <laughs> don't get any ideas now. Don't put no Chevrolet or don't put no Dodge in a Honda now, but yeah. yeah true. No, really. Let me try to go ahead and push it. Pop it in neutral. There's no transmission in it. What am I talking about? This thing is light. Oh yeah. We going. All right, guys, so we're about to push this car in. It's been a couple of days because we were working on the framework on the F450, which looks absolutely amazing. But now it is time to go ahead and throw our original S2000 on the lift, swap out these engines, and hopefully get this thing running because I want to go ahead and enjoy this weather with the working S2000 that we never had running. We basically never had yes, this sir. thing running. We had it running with the head gasket Long blown, head but gasket. it just barely drove. But right now we got some good conditions for some drifting. So let's go ahead, actually pull this thing on the lift and swap out these engines. So we're actually about to attempt to break a world record here. So let's go ahead and set this timer. And 
she is out and you just pause it 10 Ten minutes 10 no. minutes 40 minutes dude 40 exactly minutes. there's record time right we're, there we're dude. getting good at this stuff dude yep. anyway. uh, let us know if you ever pull the s2000 engine out and let us know your time i mean we got 40 minutes 33 hey, and i also was on the phone a little bit i wasn't yeah. even going like all out if i was going all out i'm sure we could probably yeah, cut that it in. was a competition cut that in but we got to have somebody that can prove that they pulled it out faster if they did then we can go ahead and go a lot quicker on oh this. yeah next time yeah it's just a competition right. overall uh, genius world record go ahead and send us a plaque <laughs> genius world record yeah. right there but yeah definitely it was fun pulling this out it's getting fun now because you're trying to beat a time stamp here oh yeah but now let's go ahead Take that off that cradle. We're using that cradle, right? Yeah, we're gonna use this cradle. We're just gonna move it over there, put that engine on here, and put this engine back on the ground. So everything is back together. The engine is in. It did take a lot longer to put it in than it did take it out. I don't know why, just always like that. But let's go ahead and fill this sucker up with coolant. But we did notice one thing whenever we check the dipstick. The oil is actually a little too high. It's way over the high limit. I don't know why, but it looks like brand new oil. That looks like from the dealership because he does have a Honda filter. Yeah, he does have a Honda filter. Either he bought the oil from the dealership and changed it himself and put way too much in there. We're gonna probably have to lower it just a little bit, probably undo the plug one time. But for right now, let's go ahead and fill the coolant up and then probably give it a first start. Hopefully this stuff doesn't come out the exhaust right oh, here. Oh, no, 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 not this time. You better not Dude, be, Dude, not after all this work dude this is gonna rip we're gonna hit v tech oh we're gonna hit like six v techs i think like every year how much gears does this thing have five or six i think it has eight oh eight i'm not mistaken there's a secret gear hidden behind i think you have to push down on the lever to get yeah, that secret you push, gear you push down and you hit it in reverse r hit r one more r time actually means race race mode that's yeah. if you want to go super fast we yeah. don't want to do that so let me go ahead and put this reservoir tank on right here as well. Yeah, it's leaking everywhere. And then I, I think it's gonna fire right up and we're gonna go around the block probably with the, the, the top dropped. Top drop, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it's top it. drop. It's Let's gonna be lit. Let's do it, man. race gear the race gears right there race you see that that means about 200 miles an hour right there so yeah can we not do that today probably not we gotta just first test it out there's probably a test pull and then once we get this thing running right we're just gonna go into all right we'll, away re we'll release them all all yeah. the ponies everything know. every one bit of them but right now let's go ahead man this Fire is the up, moment of dude. truth hopefully everything else is good i mean tires and stuff like that i don't know how long they've been sitting but we're just gonna send it dude full sends dude that's let's all do we do man crank it up and pull her on out up a little bit which is no problem 
All right, so we're gonna hit the highway real quick so we can burn this coolant out, so it should be no problemo. gonna get some uh, what do you call them rocks for our oil spills and yeah we we did a bunch of oil spills on the ground and uh i thought you i thought you better put your fingers there i was like hey careful locking this sucker up man i love the top Dude, man. it's sick bam let's go get some rocks i guess that's, that's what you, I don't, that's what i call uh, them. We'll, we're about to show you the correct term of these rocks <laughs> <laughs> these things right here we need about 100 of them you think that s2000 can haul them hey we need some weight in the back because it kind of spins a little bit too much oh, so dude. let's grab about four of these and grab all these good to go. let's go <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back. That thing absolutely rips, but we got a huge mess on our hands, so we're gonna have to clean up and catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, guys, so it is the next day. We're gonna go ahead and do the first cold start with the new engine in there, so let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. Hopefully it starts up again, I don't know. I think it will, dude. You ready? Yes, sir. So that's pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. We got some huge plans for this S2000. I mean, we want to completely change the look of this thing. Maybe do a color change. Definitely need some wheels and a bunch of other things. We're super excited about this project. Finally having this thing running. And as for the other S2000 over there, we have some plans for it too. Make it that thing running as well. But for now, that is going to be all. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. And you might have noticed our brand new Goon Squad jacket. First time ever doing a zip up. Super clean, very limited. So be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and help support your boys. So with that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.